Hey guys, it's Jill with another real time review. Today it's going to be on the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous False Fiber Lashes. And I got Blackest Black. Um, I love the packaging. I mean, I love how it's gold and I love how it's shaped. Um, the smell is kind of strong. It smells like the um, Voluminous Million Lashes. So if you didn't like that scent, then you're not going to even like this at all. Um, but let me go ahead and curl my eyelashes and then we will apply. Um, I do see that it's giving me a lot of length. But I also do see that it's clumping horribly, like horribly, horribly, horribly. And I actually like more dramatic looking lashes. Um, but ever since I fell in love with the Maybelline one, I really enjoy how my lashes just with that one kind of fan out. And these are really clumping um, pretty badly. So let's just do the left eye. Like I said, it is giving me length, um, a little bit of volume as well, and the more that you apply it, the clumpier it gets, and I don't like that in a mascara. I really don't. I don't like, I like to be able to build and build and build and build to get the lash, the lashes that I'm looking for, um, because with just one coat of this, that's not what I want in my lashes. That's not what I want my lashes to look like. And I will tell you, like, if you go, if you do more than just one coat on the bottom, it's going to clump them as well. Um, let's just go in with a little bit more up top. And already you can see that I'm getting, like, spider lashes even worse than I was before. So, yeah, I'm basically what I'm going to test with this one because I can already tell you I don't like it. I don't like the way that it applies. Um, it's a little tiny bit wetter than the Maybelline one. Um, I like a fairly wet mascara. I don't like dry mascaras at all. Um, <clears throat> ones that are in between are my favorite. And I feel that, for me, the Maybelline one is the one that's like most in between. I'm going to go ahead and just see how this hold curl, holds curl. Now what I do is I also like wait for my lashes to kind of dry. And I know you're not supposed to do this, but I don't have, I don't seem to have any problems um, with my lashes coming out after I curl, when I curl my lashes after I apply. Um, and it just makes like a huge difference in how the lashes look, but that is how they look curled again. And in a second, I will show you the time. We'll show you the time and I'll show you tonight if they stayed curled. Um, so it's now 947, 948. <laughs> Now 6.12, it's, well, 6.13. This is how the mascara looks. Um, you can tell, like, right here, it's, like, almost non-existent. Um, this mascara flakes horribly. If I can just, maybe I can show you. You can see, like, a little bit of flaking. Um... There's a bunch more. Um, so yeah, this mascara did not hold up very well. There's some more coming off. Um, this was just a really bad mascara. Um, again, like it's like non-existent over here. 
it is so clumped over here it did not hold the curl very well and it's only been eight hours so technically it wouldn't even be like a full work day L'Oreal introduces new voluminous false fiber lashes mascara our lash sculpting fiber formula adheres to lashes for a volumized sculpted lash effect lashes appear fuller longer sculpted and curled at every angle and this was me curling the lashes after applied before and after so that is not true clump free you can see that's not true flake free again I just pro pro the proven to you guys that that was not true smudge free um do I have any smudging? Let's see. I don't really see any smudging, but again, I can zoom in real close. Do you guys see all that flaking down there? Yeah, there's like quite a bit of flaking. Um, so I guess it's smudge proof, but it's not flake proof. <laughs> um, let's see fragrance free it is not fragrance free at all so everything about this mascara that claim that it claims to do is 100 percent false it's not the false fiber lashes it's the false advertising mascara that's what they should rename this mascara this is just horrible 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 it's definitely going back to the store. I paid, uh, I believe it was $8.99 for it. So for a, a L'Oreal mascara, that's actually not bad. Um, L'Oreal mascaras are, some of them are, are pretty darn expensive. So for this, the price actually wasn't bad, especially considering the fact that it was a new product. Um, but it's just horrible, horrible, horrible all around. Um, it doesn't smell good. It's not fragrance free. Um, it did lengthen my lashes and and add a little bit of volume, but on top of that, it clumped them. So I don't I don't even want that. Um, this is the reason why mascaras like this is the reason why I've always said that I didn't like the fiber extension mascaras. The only one that has proved me wrong was uh, the Maybelline. Which one was it? I did a review on this one. I absolutely love this one. It's the Maybelline Illegal Length Fiber Extensions. That is the only fiber extensions mascara that has proved me wrong with that whole um, I hate the fiber extension mascaras. Um, but this one again proves to me this is the reason why I don't like them. Don't even waste your $8.99. Um, if I were to suggest a drugstore mascara to you, it would definitely be the Maybelline Full and Soft. And I'm thinking it's around the same, maybe $2 more. So I, I can't see myself paying more than $10 for a Maybelline mascara. I don't think, I don't think that they're that, that expensive. So yeah, I would definitely pass on this one. Let's see how it's going to come off. What? Aren't I beautiful? I will say though, I don't think anything is as hard as benefits they're real to get off. What do you guys do to take off benefits they're real? Because that mascara is like heavy duty not coming off. Um, yeah, so it's not, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, so... That is probably the only thing I like about it is the fact that it was fairly simple to take off. Definitely let me know if you if you have this mascara, if you like it. Just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean that it's not going to work for you or that you're not going to like it. Um, it may work differently on shorter lashes um, versus um, having longer lashes or if you um, don't have volume and you have the length, maybe it will work a bit diff bleh, different for you. So definitely let me know if you have this and you like it. And... Um, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one.